Hey, and welcome back to the My Reno Computer Tutor YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to check or change the default save location for your copy of Excel. I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel, but be aware that the steps are going to be exactly the same if you're changing your default save location for Word or PowerPoint, generally for Microsoft. Okay. To do so, we're going to click on File. Once I've clicked on File, Backstage opens up. And at the bottom of the File menu, on the left-hand side, I'm going to click on Options. Once I've clicked on Options, the Excel Options dialog box opens up, which is organized into a bunch of different categories on the left, one of which is Save. So I'm going to click on Save. Once I've clicked on save, there's quite a few settings in here. You can scroll down and take a look at them on your own uh, leisure. But I'm going to choose the default local file location. I want to save this on my computer's OneDrive. So I'm going to open up my file explorer. Uh, my keyboard shortcut is to hold the Windows button and type the E. And I'm going to choose OneDrive and I'm going to choose Documents. So I'm navigating to where I want the save location to be. The address bar shows OneDrive Documents. What I'll do, though, is click in there, which selects the full path, and then I'm going to copy it. If you're comfortable with keyboard shortcuts, you could use a keyboard shortcut as well. So now that I've copied that, I'll close the File Explorer and back in the Excel Options dialog box, I'm going to select and replace the local location with the path that I just copied. I'll right click and paste. Could also use a keyboard shortcut. And when I hit OK, my Save As location is now reset that my brand new docu uh, workbook that I just created is going to save in Diana's OneDrive in the Documents Library. And to test it, I'll use a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to hit the F12 button on my keyboard. That'll open up the Save As dialog box. And as I defined, the address bar for the Save As window is precisely the same as the address that I designated in my options. If you have any questions, let me know. As always, thank you very much for watching. This was a short and sweet video. If you do have questions and want to reach out for help, you can find contact information in the video description as well as in the About section of the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.